Let's do custom partitioning when installing OpenBSD. In front of me is the OpenBSD installer at the disk partitioning stage. First, I have to decide on MBR or GPT. MBR is normally used by BIOS and GPT by UFI. Keep in mind that we are still assuming the OpenBSD is the sole operating system and will occupy the full disk space. In this case, I go with the MBR but GPT is the same, except it creates an additional UFI partition automatically. Now let's modify the partitioning layout. I will create three partitions, root, home, and swap, similar to Linux. To do that, I have to press C for custom layout. As you can see, the cursor has changed. This is the disk label environment. It's interactive, but not as good as CFDs. For example, I can type H to get the list of available commands. This virtual machine disk has 40 GB capacity. I will dedicate 30 GB to root, 1 GB to swap, and 9 GB to home partition. To do that, first I have to get rid of all partitions. I need to press Z. Now, to create the partition, I need to press A, then I specify the partition label, which is A in this case, and the starting offset, which is correctly detected. Then I must pass the size. For that, I type 30G. Then I need to set the partition type, which is correct again. And finally, I specify the mounting point that would be a slash. I have to repeat the same process for swap and home partitions. Now I can type P to see the created partition layout. As you can see, we have three partitions, root, swap, and home. Finally, I have to type Q to save the changes and exit. The rest of the process is the same as any normal OpenBSD installation. If you are not familiar with it, watch my how to install OpenBSD video. The link is in the top right corner. That's all for this video. Make sure to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a great time. Cheers.